Immigration authorities are looking for as many as 2,000 people in planned immigration raids that reportedly began today in several major U.S. cities. And Democratic lawmakers are bracing for a fight. This order of mass deportation has been used as a political toy. The most sinister attempt of manipulating the American people that I've ever seen. I am looking forward to the day that Americans finally stand up to this bully. President Donald Trump has insisted the sweeping immigration crackdown will target criminals and immigrants who have already been ordered deported but have not left American soil. But law-abiding, undocumented migrants are living in fear they too could be swept up, detained and deported, or even worse, separated from their loved ones. Their families get broken, like, like Lego pieces breaking apart. A top U.S. immigration official defended the mass raids and planned deportations on CNN. This is their job every day. We've got compassionate, loyal ICE agents who are just doing their job. Asked if children would be separated from their parents. That would be an operational detail that I'm not going to comment on. I'm, there are a million people, including families, with removal orders. There, the priority remains for ICE to get at criminals. The raids are happening in Atlanta, Baltimore, Chicago, Denver, Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, New York and San Francisco. New Orleans was also on the list, but the operation was suspended this weekend because of Tropical Storm Barry. In targeted cities, protesters rallied against the raids this weekend, and a number of mayors, nearly all Democrats, said they would not cooperate with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Or ICE. We are in this together. We will continue to stand behind our immigrant communities and we will make it through together. Meanwhile, ahead of the immigration raids, Trump launched a fresh attack on a group of Democratic Congresswomen of color, tweeting that they should go back to the broken and crime infested places from which they came. Now, all of the women are American citizens, and all but one was born in the U.S. Democrats have labeled the tweets racist with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying the president just wants to make America white again.